I'm sure that most of you have probably heard of the Doobie Brothers. They've played some of the most popular music over the last 50 years. But here's a name you should know, Ty Ran Porter. He laid down the bass lines on most of those familiar Doobie Brothers tunes. His sound, his style, and his unmistakable groove had everything to do with how popular the group became. With a style that blended rock, country, R&B, even a little jazz, his bass lines would often become the hooks on the Doobie Brothers hits. So without further ado, here are my top five Tyran Porter Doobie Brothers bass lines. From the album of the same name, it's impossible to not notice the bass in this song. First of all, it's mixed incredibly hot and upfront. The group and producer Ted Templeman wanted you to hear the bass as much as you hear the vocal. The interesting thing here to me is at first, the piano is actually playing the bass line. And Tyran is punctuating it about every four bars or so. And when we move into the pre-chorus, he starts to open it up. And when they hit the chorus, dig the fills he's playing every other bar. It's articulate and aggressive and right up front. A deep cut from the Minute by Minute album, Tyran's line just jumps right out at you. When Michael McDonald joined the Doobies, he brought this very active left-hand piano style to the music. It's very busy, but Tyran finds a place to really lock in on the bass. A moving 16th note line on bass with a pick is not a very easy thing to pull off. Tyran switched from playing with just a pick to his fingers about halfway through his tenure with the Doobie Brothers, but to me, it sounds like most of his lines were recorded with a pick. The articulation and the sound are just so good. This one, for real, was the hardest one to play. It might not sound like it, but nailing these rhythms was not at all easy. There's a YouTube video of Ty Rand's isolated bass track from this recording, and you can really hear how well he's playing this line all by himself. Again, the bass is mixed right up front, and with just a little syncopation, this line is driving the whole song. I love this one. This is an example of popular music that uses polyrhythms. If we look at this in four, the bass line is playing eighth note triplets against that. At 
the same time, the keyboard is playing quarter note triplets on top. What we're getting is three different rhythms at once. Six on top of three on top of four. And not to mention Tyran lays down a killer shuffle groove during the tune. From his first album with the Doobies, Toulouse Street, Tyran made his presence known in the music. This line definitely has some funk in it and it's in the bass player's favorite key, E minor. This is one of Tyran's original compositions that tips its hat to jazz, among other things. From the Living on the Fault Line album, this one is driven by the bass, and it feels turned around because of the flipped around drum part and the accents. How could I leave this one out? Arguably their most popular song, Tyran is once again locking with Michael McDonald's left hand. And again, you'll start to hear him open up as the song progresses. Not to be outdone, he sneaks in his very own cool little bass fill going into the pre-chorus. just slays me. It's so active and with each new section he's playing something different and new from the intro to the double time pre-chorus. To the second verse. This is what Tyran does so well. He's holding down the groove, but he also knows when to take the lead with the bass and drive the song. His sound is always great, articulate, and in time. He knows how to serve the music. That's great bass playing. On a personal note, when I was a kid, the Doobie Brothers were one of the most popular bands ever. I definitely remember them always being on the radio and even being on TV a lot. And as a young African-American kid, to see Tyrant Porter up there with those guys, I can't explain to you how much that meant to me. It was like he gave me permission to imagine myself doing that, playing different kinds of music with people that didn't look like me. He inspired me on such a deep level, and I will always be thankful for that. What's your favorite Tyran Porter bass line? Let me know in the comments. And the next time you listen to the music, remember the brother with the beret that held it all together. Thanks, T.